You know what's funny about J.K. Rowling getting cancelled by the very same woke outrage mob that she helped create? Everything! But what hateful, bigoted invective did Rowling spew to warrant the spiteful, vindictive hatred of thousands of woko haram jihadists? She suggested... Wait for it... That biological sex is a real thing? Ah, oh, shit! Here we go again. That's right, JK Rowling was cancelled because she defended a woman who was fired for saying, quote... Men cannot change into women. Maya Forstater lost her job at the Center for Global Development, a think tank that campaigns against inequality for a tweet that was over a year old, which stated the following. What I am so surprised at is that smart people I admire, who are absolutely pro-science in other areas and champion human rights and women's rights, are tying themselves in knots to avoid saying the truth that men cannot change into women because that might hurt men's feelings. Here's a photograph of the self-described trans woman, SNP councillor Gregor Murray, that Forstater was talking about. This is his, I mean her, her, Twitter profile. Bruh. Murray was previously suspended by his party for abusing a woman on Twitter by calling her the C word. Forstater also said that expanding the legal definition of women so that it includes biological males will undermine women's rights and protections. And that quote, women and girls lose out on privacy, safety and fairness if males are allowed into changing rooms, dormitories, prisons and sports teams. Sounds reasonable, right? No! A feminist charity worker who campaigned for women's rights is now out of a job because she said that this person is not a woman. Let that sink in. It's now legal precedent in the UK that employees can be fired for asserting there are only two biological sexes. Maybe the NHS needs a purge of all their so-called medical professionals. Let's be clear. This wasn't about gender. This wasn't about, quote, non-binary people being able to identify as infinite different gender identities. This wasn't about intersex people being born with a mix of male and female genitalia, or with a combination of both XX and XY chromosomes. This was about biological sex. Saying that a person born with XY chromosomes is a man, and a person born with XX chromosomes is a woman, and that that's a scientific fact. That's the premise that JK Rowling was merely suggesting that she believed. She wasn't saying that trans people couldn't call themselves women or identify as women. She was saying that someone born with XY chromosomes is a biological male, and that that's immutable. That's it. Rowling threw her support behind Force Data by tweeting, Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who'll have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real? Hello, based in red pill department? No. This was a disgusting transphobic attack on an oppressed community, and boy did they let her know about it. Denying the existence of trans women is an act of violence. Denying their right to claim their womanhood is an act of violence. Over the past couple of years, JK Rowling has used her massive platform and influence almost exclusively to destroy the UK left and ruin the lives of trans people. The best part of the Harry Potter fan community is that we read so much queer shit into JK Rowling's books, despite her being a disappointing failure of a human who is probably horrified. We all knew you were transphobic. Thanks for finally coming right out to own it. Impressive that JK Rowling has managed to completely ins Incinerate all of the goodwill she accrued from creating the most successful youth fantasy series of all time in just under a decade. Anything is possible, folks, if you just keep tweeting. Going full turf, I see. At least you finally took off that mask for all to see. As a gay man that found safety in Hogwarts throughout my childhood, knowing that trans people wouldn't be able to have that safety breaks my heart. Hogwarts is not real. The head of LGBTQ rights organisation, GLAD, said Rowling's tweet, quote, puts trans people at risk. Did JK Rowling just destroy the legacy of Harry Potter with a single transphobic tweet? JK Rowling, retire. Bitch. JK Rowling, I don't think a woman should have lost her job for talking about sex and gender issues. The radical trans cult. Burn the witch! Burn her! What makes this even more hilarious is that it's not just the progressive far left eating one of their own. They're cannibalizing a woke icon. Some of you may remember back in the day, JK and I had a few battles. Mainly over Rowling's virtue signaling about the West taking in refugees while she personally took in precisely zero 
despite owning several mansions, one of which had 18 spare bedrooms. This escalated to the point where Rowling passive-aggressively retweeted a satirical fake news story obviously meant to be about me. So do I really care that the ideological monster that she once fed is now devouring her? No. At every point, Rowling tried to ingratiate herself with Woko Haram, to the extent where she felt the need to pander to LGBT by suddenly announcing she always thought Dumbledore was gay, even to the extent where she retroactively made the Hermione character black, despite the fact that her own books literally said she had, quote, a white face. Yes, you go girl, slay! No, there'll be no more slaying for JK Rowling, She's done. By the time you watch this video, she'll probably have been forced into a groveling, apologetic walk back. She's already declined the offer of being re-educated. Bad move. What now for JK Rowling? What now for the woke princess whose crown has slipped? What now for punished turf? Maybe it's time for a good old-fashioned book burning. What could be more progressive? Maybe it's not sufficient for men to use the legal system to force women to hold certain opinions. Maybe that's not feminist enough. Maybe the only way we can stop transphobia is by removing cis women's right to vote. Maybe the only person who can offer the Harry Potter author any kind of redemption is Jessica Yaniv. Time to wax them balls, bigot. There are more than two genders. Question, if there are more than two genders, why is there only two fits, men and women? Mind your own business. Here's another question. Should we sympathize with JK Rowling or simply laugh in her face? Definitely the latter. This is what happens when you hand a radical vocal minority the power to dictate biological science. This is what happens when you hand a feverish mob the power to destroy people's careers for having a different opinion. This is what happens when you hand far-left progressives the power to cannibalize and control language. This is what happens when you place your legacy in the hands of people who will gleefully throw you under a bus merely to appear more virtuous than you on social media. JK Rowling, you made the bed. Now it's time to lie in it. It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.